Your Royal Highness, congratulations on 30 years of the Prince's Trust. Oh, very kind. Thank you very much. Very Tell good. us how... I can't uh, believe it is 30 years. Do you know that thing? 30 years. It is rather worrying. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us um, about the different ways the Trust supports young people all over the UK. Well, I, as I say, over 30 years, I mean, tried to find ways, you know, meeting the the particular needs and challenges that people face and, mm. and uh, really aim to try and bring out people's best talents and potential. Because yeah. I think a lot of people, you know, the, the talent is buried and has never been brought out. And everybody has something, I think. And it's just that business of giving them self-confidence and, uh, and self-esteem. Mm. So all it is, I think, is, is an investment in, in the future. Mm. And that, you know, has grown and grown now. So. 66,000 businesses we started in the last 20-something years. There was one the other day, yeah. uh, who we started 20 years ago exactly, in 1986. Um, and they started with a thousand pounds in their grandmother's attic. Really? And they're now turning over 30 million wow. pounds a year. And they've got offices, you know, in Los Angeles and New York and... Brilliant. London. I mean, they are fantastic. It's called Attic. Right. <laughs> I'm very proud of that. Yeah, yeah you must be. Now, the, the media nowadays often tends to demonise young people, and you know, with the terms like hoodies and, and thugs and things like that. I mean, they're all myths that the, the trust has tried to dispel and to try mm. and give uh, young people back their self-esteem. Exactly. But it, uh, I mean, again, it's very easy, isn't it, to, to create stereotypes. Mm. I just know that there are a lot of people who appear like that, but. Underneath it all are actually uncertain and unsure of themselves and perhaps insecure and as I say all it needs a lot of the time is to is to provide them with motivation and, and self-esteem yeah. mm. and suddenly they they are transformed. How important are William and Harry of keeping you in touch with what's relevant today and, <laughs> and what's in fashion? <laughs> fashion? I'm, I'm, right. I'm, sure they, I'm sure they think they're very important. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. I mean, they are very good at keeping me in touch with mm. what's going on a bit. And particularly on the sort of music front and things like that. I can't keep up with all the different yeah. new bands and everything else that bob up on the scene. You one, one you did miss was um, PJ and Duncan. They were very good. <laughs> 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 now they were good. Sir, they were brilliant. They were. Brilliant. Them, Sir. That's those they were. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, had, we had a very brief <laughs> music <laughs> career yeah. a few years life. ago. Yeah. Very, very brief. Life. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have quite similar music tastes, the two of you, or are you quite different in, in taste of music? We're quite similar. It varies a bit. I'd say his was pretty shocking, but mine was quite Oh, really? <laughs> but apart from that, we, uh, we tend to like the same, pretty much the same music. Yeah. yeah. These two, so you play this stuff, and I'm sitting there going... <laughs> <laughs> downstairs somewhere, it's a whole place. <laughs> it's just like houses up and down the country. Yeah. Yeah. Turn that racket down. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you've had, obviously, a, a, quite a few run-ins over mm. the years with the Spice Girls as well. Yeah. They, they, they were great ambassadors for the Trust, weren't Marvelous. they? Marvellous. Yeah, they were terrific. They really were. And, uh, and great fun, anyway, you know. Would you say you have <clears throat> any favourite ambassadors, sir? <laughs> 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 what can I say? <laughs> Spare our blushes, yeah, please. No, no, no. <laughs> but I'm enormously grateful, because then a lot of them spend a, you know, a, real, a lot of time Give, give up their time to help with the trust. And, yeah. and they do motivate and inspire. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And one of the bands that the trust did help was Journey South. Did you, did you see no, that? I've I, I heard about it, yeah. I well, didn't watch that particular X Factor, but uh, I think Harry probably watched most of it all I did. I saw a couple. You see <laughs> but I'm not going to admit to watching yeah. But they've done really well. And if it wasn't for the trust, they were in debt, they couldn't afford mm. to, to buy any more equipment, but when they did, when they, when they got a grant. And now I think their album's out, I think it's, it's gone gold or platinum or something, mm. and, you know, if it wasn't for the trust, th those guys wouldn't be there. So it's something to be proud of, mm. isn't it? Well, I think so. And I, and, I, and I hope we can go on doing that, you know. But as I say, it is, it is a struggle raising all the money mm. to, to do it all. Have you guys got the same sense of humour? Do you watch the same comedy programmes? Yeah, we, we tend to do mostly the same sort of... Mm. Yeah, we like the same sort of things. Although there's usually an argument over the remote control at home about who watches what. I really um, like um, it. That usually goes on for quite a while. <laughs> Friends is always a safe bet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Trust is also linked very closely to, to sport and football yep. in particular, and you've, yep. you've spent your time going up and down the country and visiting <laughs> football clubs. Could you tell us a couple of the schemes that the Trust is involved with? We've got the Premier League and the Professional mm. Football Association, who've been wonderful again right. and uh, helped us most generously. And you know, I've been to Arsenal and Liverpool football clubs, and they've been terrific in helping this whole scheme. 
Harry, you're, a, you're an Arsenal fan, if, if I'm correct. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> and, and you're an Aston Villa fan? I am indeed. I mean, I can understand Arsenal. Aston Villa? <laughs> Newcastle? Yeah, exactly, yeah, good point. Exactly. Yeah. We're doing all right at the moment, thank you. <laughs> why, why did you choose Aston Villa to, uh, as a club to support? Uh, it's, it was the first um, team I went and watched play in an FA Cup um, game against Bolton. And um, I sort of decided that the, we were close enough to Birmingham to allow me to support it. And you're also president of the FA as well now? Yeah, exactly, yeah. That's, it's, that's, um, fan, what a, that's a great job. That's a great job, yeah. Loads of free tickets. They must be pretty desperate, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's, um, no, it's, a real, it's a real privilege, actually, to be president of the FA. But the most important question, will you get a hand over the FA Cup? <laughs> if they let me anywhere near it, then yes, that's the plan. Yeah. Well, it's the closest Aston Villa are going to get to it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it and Newcastle as well. I think, yes, probably. that's true. Now, we know you three must be very competitive. Um, you all play polo together. Team Highgrove. Used to. Against Used to play polo mm. together. He's decided that the pressure of playing with his two sons is too much. We're too good for him now. <laughs> <laughs> Got to give in somewhere. Well, I was, I was going to ask, sir, which, which one's the most competitive? They are very competitive. And I remember playing with them the last time I played with them in a, in a, in a tournament. We really wanted to win. And I get this stuff, you know, shouting at me, you silly old father, get on with it. You know, the usual thing. And I was trying <laughs> too hard. <laughs> yeah. That's right. But I was trying too hard, I remember, doing you know, it. I had to turn the pony very fast. And the next thing, I mean, the, the thing, the pony came down sideways and I must have landed absolutely smack on my head. Anyway, it completely felled me. And I ended up being taken to hospital, you know, where I finally woke up. It seemed a long time afterwards. Anyway, this person here was told me later that he, he thought, when I was lying on the ground, that I was... He said, oh, he said, Papa's just snoring, he said. <laughs> and there I was, busily swallowing my tongue. <laughs> Quietly dying. <laughs> you remember, you told me <laughs> that. Very well. <laughs> Imagine they're trying to kill me so they can walk <laughs> off with my ponies. That's what <laughs> And the rest. Do, do the tempers ever get a bit frayed? Oh, yeah, very much so. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, definitely. We work, we work really well as a team, because um, we're all sort of thinking roughly alike. But uh, when someone does something wrong, there's a, you get the two very stern faces looking at you, and then you get the bollocking afterwards. So, <laughs> yeah. There is great fun being able to play with them, you know, I, that was the great thing. I did have some time playing with them. Yeah. Mm. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Didn't quite have enough to make a team. But then... <laughs> have you finished now, sir? Is that you? Well, I, I have, really, I think. I just felt, you know, it's better to give up when you're still able to do it. Mm. Yeah. But I shall miss it terribly because I loved having all that um, violent exercise. Yeah, but it's, it's best to bow out at the top, sir. Yeah. And leave them wanting more. Uh, I was yeah, you guys haven't reached that yet. Yeah, so <laughs> <you're> <laughs> <going> <laughs> out, exactly. 